Doesn't he look intimidating? One of the most common issues that people have kind of new to gardening or trying to grow plants from seeds is that birds will often eat the seeds. And a lot of people have seen these fake plastic owls in garden centers and wondered what they are for. Well, owls will attack birds for one. So if there is an owl in your garden area, a lot of times birds will not eat your seeds. Now it doesn't work all the time, but they do look very intimidating to birds that cannot tell that is a fake owl. You can have one owl in about the size of an average garden, so let's say 25 by 40 feet, and that will help a lot. Now with my garden, it's on a hillside, so I have him kind of like up as if he's looking over the garden, and that works just great in my garden. But another tip you can do um, is that some people will often also have problems keeping seeds moist so that they germinate. And I was discussing a way that um, a person who was having trouble growing sunflower seeds, I kind of felt like they were planting them the seeds too deep when they were telling me what their problems were and that also they were kind of just like putting the seeds in the ground and watering them once and kind of forgetting about it. But a simple tip for that problem is to make sure that you only plant seeds at the recommended depth. And for instance, sunflower seeds, they're a big seed, but they only need to be in the soil about one inch. And one inch for most people is from the tip of your first finger to the crease of your first knuckle on that finger. That's about one inch deep. So sunflower seeds, you dig a trench about one inch deep and what I recommend people do is they dig the trench and then they fill that trench with water once or twice use a garden hose use a cup use a pitcher use a watering can whatever let that let that water soak into the ground and if you want to do it twice so filling the trench up forces the water to go down at a deep level because Sunflower seeds need, you know, four to six inches of wet soil under them for the taproot to grow. So once you have that trench filled and you have it watered deeply, place your sunflower seeds about every six inches. Cover it up with the soil that you took out of the trench. Don't pack the soil too tightly. Then water it again and place saran wrap over that trench and use toys, bricks, rocks, whatever you've got handy, piece of wood to hold that saran wrap down over the seeds. That saran wrap then traps the moisture and keeps it from evaporating out of the ground and basically keeps the seeds moist. After seven to 10 days, remove the saran wrap. All of your seeds should be sprouted. That works for any type of vegetable or flower seed, by the way. And if you have trouble getting seeds started and established, that's an easy tip. Um, the other thing about sunflower sp seeds specifically, once they're sprouted, you need to water them pretty heavily every two or three days until they're about two foot tall. A deep watering, not just a little bit of water, a, a really good watering until they're about two foot tall. And then that allows the soil beneath the taproot to stay wet so that the taproot can continue growing downward. And then once the plants are about two foot tall, you can let them do whatever they want. At that point in time, they're deep enough where even, you know, infrequent rains and drought will work for sunflower seeds. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed these tips. They're just general knowledge. A lot of old time farmers and gardeners like me know, but a lot of people don't. And uh, I know that people have seen these owls in garden centers and be like, oh, what's that for? Well, I just told you, so you've learned two things new. How to keep your seeds 
from getting eaten by birds and also how to keep your seeds moist until they sprout. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like and subscribe button. And God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Thanks for watching.